Good afternoon, race fans. My name is Adam. We are here for PCACC Racing. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to jump in here in just a minute and grab up the rest of our box three commentators. But right now, I'm just trying to get the server list to load properly. It says I'm connected, so we should not have an issue, but you never know, right? It is online racing. Mr. Dunn, Lemon Lids, and Scientist Monkey all in the chat thus far today. Thank you all so much for being here. Again, my name is Adam. I'll be soon be joined by John Tracy, Kevin Huffman. So servers load, but, box, but searching for servers does not. So let's see if we can scroll down the list and find it because it's being stupid. But how is everyone? We are here for round six of season one, Box 3 Motorsports ACC PC Racing at Misano Sprint Race Format today. And we will get into exactly what that means in just a moment as I first try and locate servers. We always have to bounce right before because the guys can't leave it alone right before the race starts. It's crazy. But in a good way. They're all hyped to get in there, so... Let's jump over right now, actually, and we will get into the yeah, MMVC. These guys are going to be just a talking it up, I'm sure. But I hope everyone is having themselves a great week, a great weekend. Ready to get going for ACC Racing. As we join that Box 3 server for commentary. I don't know why my uh, list won't update, gentlemen. <laughs> There we go. Finally, get connected to our race server. Again, we're at Misano today. Huff, Kevin, I'm joined by Kevin Huffman. I'm joined Close by John Tracy. How are you gentlemen hello, today? Hello. Very, very good. It's a pleasure to be here. Excellent. Very good impressive. to hear. Huff, I was just describing to the folks watching, though, however, that we are doing a, a sprint race format today. So can you just cover exactly what that means and what we should expect for today's broadcast? Well, we've got two short 20-minute races. Each race has their own 10-minute qualification session. Uh, the first race is going to be an uh, evening time race, uh, 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, I believe. And then that is going to be followed up by a second qualifier at uh, 10 p.m. And then the race uh, followed at night, which is 11 p.m. So the second race is going to be at night. It should be uh, this is a beautiful track at night, so it should be fun. Excellent. Good to hear. So two 20-minute races today. Um, yep each each race precede, preceded by 10 minute qualification so it's not like we're going to have uh we're not going to use the previous race for the for the standings in the second race or anything like that so lots of fun to be had at misano today and again we're joined i think for the first time by mr john tracy and john i'm gonna have to admit i may have spelled your name wrong in the uh, lower third there i'm hoping not <laughs> i don't I, think so uh, though but don't worry about it. I don't think so, though. I think I took it right off of Discord, so we should be good to. As long as it was spelled right there, then we're, we're good. But, John, how oh, yeah, are yeah. you? You're joining us from way out in the hinterlands of Australia, if I'm not mistaken. No, you are very correct. Uh, I'm out here for education purposes, but uh, the good old COVID has sort of done me a silverstone. It's sort of silverstone me with the uh, conditions. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, yeah, it is what it is, but at least I'm able to still contribute to the community uh, doing commentary. Excellent. And we love having you here, man. I appreciate it. I think it's fantastic, and I think everyone else will as well. Uh, but as we get ready right now, just in a quick 10-minute practice session to let the drivers warm up the tires, and those who maybe didn't practice this week get a few laps in to make sure we have some clean racing. Um, but so far, again, Misano... I I don't want to say one of my favorite tracks, but certainly one that I can enjoy. I think there's some great corners here. Uh, it's it's very flat, right? If we talk about like a, uh, well, everybody uses Paul Ricard as flat, but this track's basically the same, right? I mean, it's a flat plane. No one's going anywhere up and down like we do, like we see at Spa or Brands Hatch or or uh, obviously you know Mount Panorama, but still a lot of fun. Uh, I think, and some really great corners here, especially off that long straight in the back, and you've got that wicked fast right-hander that just makes this hey. track a lot of fun. Time to pull up the uh, the track map, turn 13, turn 12. <laughs> right. Well, no, uh, turn 11, actually. 
right? That's the fast right hander you're talking about. I'm talking about through 11 into 12. Uh, okay, yeah, that's a fun one. section. Of, it, it is. I believe that's called the the Curvone section. Yep. Forgive pronunciation. Curvone. Yep. 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 Absolutely, and then, and yeah, I, I understand that you know twelve and thirteen are the ones where you really dive into it, but even through eleven, uh, I know driving the Audi, shifting up into fifth, and being able to hold full speed through that to, to push down into twelve, where this track does get interesting for me at least as a driver when I am driving, is turn twelve into thirteen, because if you brake too early, you're sending it sideways, right? Hundred percent. Yep. And if you break too late, you're missing turn 13 to continue to the, you know, which is a little bit slower uh, right-hander to head for Caro at 14. So, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. And it's a matter, you know, much like we talk about Mount Panorama and trying to make that downhill section and just make it, you know, feel that flow and get the best time through it. I think it's the same here that that corner has to be hit just right or we're not, you know, yeah. you're not going to make it through into 13 through around into 14. Oh, what's this? I just saw someone get disqualified for driving yeah. the wrong way. Mr. D. Yeah, I was looking at that too. Driving the Mercedes. How do we do this? That's unfortunately um, not something I can clear, but whenever we enter a uh, qualifying session, he should be good to go. It's just going to yeah. disqualify him from uh, the free practice session. Who got the just wonder. Uh, D. Pickett, a uh, new driver to us. He's new this week. So hmm. He's driving a, good start, a a very historically uh, strong car here at Misano with the Mercedes ability to eat curbs, which is very useful here, of course. Yeah, there's a lot of curbs, so I have a feeling the front-wheel drives are hopefully going to do well, other uh, than the M4, hopefully. Well, the M4, I'm noticing, I don't see a ballast on my timetable here, so... I am I currently know. doing that, sir. You got you. Oh, shit, sir. So for anybody watching, I mean, we really don't have a choice when it comes to that M4. Uh, this car has come out with no BOP on it, right? Because, well, it hasn't been live on track yet. And the devs at Kunos are, if anything, they're trying to be as accurate as possible. And with no real world BOP, there's not going to be one in game. This car has just been dominating since it launched, at least in our league. And I'm sure it's the same in others, uh, to where, you know, and again, it, it still has something to do with the driver, right? We've seen M4s that finish way down the list. But with these stronger drivers that can take almost any of these cars and make them perform, the M4 is just crushing right now. So to add a 30, you know, 30 kilogram uh, ballast, I don't think is unfair. What do we say, Huff? It costs about three to four tenths per lap? Yeah, give or take. It's kind of track specific, but you know, that's, that's kind of a general rule of thumb. It's really anywhere between two and four tenths a lap. Yeah, so we're not seeing, I mean, it's not like you're hampering these guys by a second and a half. It's really just more of giving them an opportunity to giving other drivers an opportunity to try and at least match those times. Um, and I don't know that we've seen much difference. We've had one race since that was instituted, and, and it was M4s that took it last week. So. Well, thankfully, that uh, balance doesn't slow him down too much because uh, Foose is rapid in that M6, man. He's only two and a half tenths currently behind cohorts, and uh, he somehow made that car work. Uh, but, every track we've been to, basically. Yeah, He's I was going to say, I mean, driver, man. Foose is Shows just fantastic. Pace. And and really, sitting in the older uh, the older BMW, right? He's he's not in that M4. He's in that M6, as you said. And really just rushes right through everything. I mean, the, the guy's always up there in the top three. Or top five, top three, right? So, unless there's an error yeah. somewhere that sets him way back, he's going to be finishing near the top. <laughs> Bryn, I'm looking at you last week. <laughs> <laughs> so as we take a look but down, actually, I mean, we got Kurtz, we've got Foos on track today. Will Green returns, Hellman, Sheffer, Evans, Ottens, Fernandez, Gable, Santos, Sol, Thomas, Givens, your boy Blue, Silvaris, Stevens, DJ is back, Stevens back. We see Zap on track after some disappointment last week. James Bessing. Asar, Anderson, and Chief Blaze all on track today. Along with Athwell, Mayor, and Pickett. Pickett, you said, being one of our new drivers in the Mercedes AMG. Yep, I and, believe uh, I just slid him into the entry list uh, today, so he is he is brand new, brand new. Huff, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, D. Athwell, that is uh, Mr. D.A. Radicus, correct? That is, that is Daw, okay. Daw himself. So he's, he's a great driver, driver, man. That guy is rapid. As we come to the end of practice, just to give you guys an idea, I mean, I'm not going to throw the times up for a practice session, but 
Right now, Kurt's running a 134.8 during a practice session. That's his best. Now, keep in mind, as Huff said, different on-track times for these races. So tire pressures are going to change. Temperatures are going to change as we go into the qualifying and the races for each one. Uh, but he is a 134.8, currently the best, holding Sector 2 with a 37.5. Uh, Tom Foos holding Sector 3 with a 33.3. And Will Green, Sector 1, with a 23.7 nudging those two out so our top three holding the, t the all, holding all three sectors right now which has been a little bit different than what we've seen uh in the past we've seen drivers as far down as seventh and eighth holding fastest sectors and right now everybody's kind of stacked up in that top three with those yeah it's been interesting to see that play out all right all the ballots are applied to the car when you guys verify that for me just double check i haven't missed any Okay, will do. And four and four and four and four. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Yep. Looks like oh. on this on my end. As Coerts takes purple in all three sectors. He does. This. Very Jeez. quickly. Not by I don't much know how though. Don't die. Yeah. He only Not improved by, by less than a tenth, but yep. manages to take the sectors. That was very tight though. Um he's really the top uh Wow, it's very close top 10. But yeah, just looking at this practice session, I mean, everybody yep. down to number five is within one second of that fastest speed. And then from there, we're looking at another, uh, our top 10, really down to the top 13 within another second. So yeah, it's going to be very, definitely. very quick today. DJ top 10 doing work. He is. He's sitting right at 10th right now, but only during the practice. I, You know, we've seen TG get a lot quicker as the sessions move on. Hey, he's impressed the hell out of me, man. I know he's a he's a great driver, and he's came out swinging. What's his, his uh, third race with us? And he's yeah. done that so far. He finished in the... second at Chicago, third? No. I'm uh, thinking second. Finish, um, yeah. What did he finish last week? I don't know. Overall, but I think in class he would have finished on the podium, definitely. Yeah, for sure. But the great part is, is you know, prior to, to joining Box 3, he was always an, an Xbox racer, right? We always saw him yep. in the Xbox League. And now we're to the point where he's moved over to PC, and it seems as though that has been the thing that really has made it work for him. Because as, a, as an Xbox racer, he was fair to Midland, right? He was right in the middle of the pack. Oh, better driver than I am. But was always in the middle of the pack, depending on the size of the grid would finish right up, right around in the middle, right? So if we're talking to like today's grid, we've got 26 drivers, he'd be coming in 13th, 14th, 15th, somewhere in there. And now we're seeing him move right up to where he's top five regularly. And it's great to yeah, see. Sure. Representing the likes this gang, gotta That's say. That's right. It's impressive. Guys are using these uh, in between session overtime to to still get out there and do some laps. Well, we are now on to seems qualifying that, uh, now. It seems that Foose has employed the uh, Mercedes tactic of not even looking for a slipstream at all, seeing that he's an M6. I don't think he really needs it all that much. He's uh, definitely a, he's in a different corner than all these other cars right now. But uh, the Ferrari should... I think historically it was very good here in 1.7. So, uh, Roger Santos, he actually did well last weekend, uh, finishing yeah, yeah, the top he did. 10, I'm pretty sure. Yep. For the first time, is up, if I can recall. But, um... He actually finished, uh, 7th last week at Spa, and then 6th the week before at Zandvoort, so he's, uh, you know, oh, pretty really? solid. Yeah. Now, just uh, referring to the Coach Dave times, these aren't, you know, alien esports times. These are just the regular Coach Dave uh, set up mm -hmm. uh, hot laps that come with, well, are free on YouTube, but also come with buying their setups. Um, the Currently, the Beamer is fastest with a 32.8, followed, uh, and the McLaren are actually equal. But uh, that Beamer getting a 3 to 4 tenth ballast, uh, the McLaren should be the fastest track here, uh, fastest car on track. Uh, with the Porsche very close behind with 33-1. As we take and a look. the Ferrari... No, go ahead, go 33. ahead. No, sorry. Ferrari with a 33-2, so it has lost performance here after the patch, it seems. 
Sorry to walk on you there, but uh, just taking a look at Zap. Our man Zap is out there in that Porsche. So it'll be curious to see how he does. He had a lot of bad luck last week. Did You know, he struggled at Spa. It'd be great to see him come back out. I know Zap is a very solid driver. Always has been in the past. And again, last week seemed more of a fluke than anything where he just a lot of struggle at Spa. Uh, but now maybe with this Porsche and, and being friendly to Misano, maybe we'll see something out of him he's, today. He's got the new gear too. He's got that new CSL DD with the, the Porsche, the rim. And the uh, the endurance oh, mod module. Oh, he's driving that. Oh, really? Yeah. So he's fully kitted up, man. He's got the. He's even got the Porsche rim. He's ready to go. No kidding. I, no, I knew he had that CSL. Setup, though, but... so, yeah. <laughs> and I know a lot of us guys were tuning to his stream uh, yesterday or the day before, hyping up about it. it was, Quite uh, entertaining. Very fun amazing watch, watch, dude. Highly recommend. It and uh, a couple of beautiful clips came out of it. Unfortunately, uh, copyright music has uh, <laughs> taken that down a little bit. <laughs> One clip remains out of the four, but. It's they so should have hard, at least man. left him up there, but just muted him. Because, man, those were, they were pure gold, man. So entertaining. <laughs> he nearly cut a shop on fire. He did take every precaution. I mean, he put up blankets and, like, and what, what did he use, John? A metal street sign? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, he just pulled what out a street sign on his note. How did yeah, he, he had to do oh, some welding, welding to, uh, <laughs> to modify his rig a bit. Oh, I didn't know all he's this. Dummy, though. He, he came prepared. He had a fire extinguisher. You know, Zap's a, he, he's a bright bright person. He's not, you know, he, know, he knows what he's doing. I trust yeah. him. Even though it was sketchy as hell, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> now, we've seen video in the past of, of a former driver we knew uh, from a former league who at one point was building his stuff and almost took a, a hand drill or a, a power oh, drill yes, yes. into right into his uh, nether region. Yes. This is not the same thing. You're saying that, you know, um, you know, Zap kind of protected himself a little bit is what you're getting at. Yeah. Yeah. He, okay. yeah, he had all, you know, all precautions were taken. He was mainly trying to protect his computer and his, his monitors and, you know, things of that nature, but he did gotcha. his blankets over mob, which is sketchy, but it's better <laughs> than setting your rig on fire. hundred percent. At one point, a very hot so, spark got into the, uh, the dunas or whatever the hell he was using and he just had to spat that thing down it was hilarious yeah so we take a quick so look so the takeaway here guys is just be careful just protect don't, yourself don't drill through your your um yeah the yeah don't drill through your leg don't drill through yourself and don't burn your garage down be careful <laughs> well that's good though he was able to keep that under control and do some welding Yep. This is the kind of stuff that scares me to death because I am not a mechanical person. I am more of a, a network, you know, PC hardware geek kind of person. So I see things like this and it scares the living hell out of me that these guys are able to go and I'm watching going, ooh, that looks expensive when they break it. You know, I feel bad, I guess. Um, and that's why I don't take those chances anymore. I think as you get older, you stop doing that. So just That's part uh, of the fun for me, man. I enjoy that. Just going back to track here, I'm expecting or predicting that the M4 will be very quick in the first sector, seeing it's a pretty tight and turny and requires a lot of turning, which the M6 sort of lacks, being uh, well, quite literally looking like a boat half the time. But yep. uh, it is shining in sectors two and three, looking at the timetables, which have the long straights. You're definitely As, correct. Uh, Foose is holding, yeah, purple in sectors two and three, while Coetz has snatched uh, sector one. Holding strong Top three, so far. Though, less than five thousand spread out though. That's that's insane. Yeah, I mean they're so close right now, and we can throw the times up real quick just so folks can see it. But you're looking at a one thirty four nine zero two, a nine two zero, and a nine four two. Yep. And they're all within that one tenth of a second of each other. That's just absolutely insane. As I, again, I let you guys talk while I try and build, <laughs> build overlays live. Yeah, Molson, if you want to throw up my stream, I'll go ahead and John and I can discuss the results and kind of see where we're standing there. If you've got time to do that. Uh, give me one second. I can absolutely do that. Sir. Slide right over to the Huffman stream. Now, keep in mind, guys, that these team standings are uh, a, a, about a week behind, but uh, we can definitely go over the results from last race. Uh, 
just running a little bit behind with things. We actually changed a few things to make it a little bit easier to update the uh, the standings and whatnot. So that's what uh, the delay was for. Now, looking at the timesheets, it seems that uh, Mr. Red Rider, Blaze, Pickett, Rob, and Zap have not managed to set valid lap times yet. Track limits here are go. very harsh, and uh, they will be a factor. Hey, don't call in me out like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, as we take a look at the team standings, so oh, guys, we got, uh, we got Team DJ Ando leading with a total of 166. Man, that's been a, a very strong team. Uh, once again, DJ's kind of really dominated the silver class. He's been mega impressive. Uh, he's just shown a significant improvement over the course of these past four races. Then we got Bryn and uh, T. Gomes, uh, the fast lot. They're sitting in uh, position two for the team standings at 153. And then we have uh, Tom Foos and his new teammate, which is Dom, uh, your my boy Blue, and the Lexus, who, uh, you know, his teammate kind of left him, unfortunately, to uh, iRacing. I'm sorry for you. And then his um, other team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of iRacing. Um, they are a team in it to win it, though, currently sitting in P3 with 148 points. Now, this is, like I said, we're running a week behind. Do apologize for that, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. But let me see here if I can pull up the SimGrid results from last week. That way it'll kind of give you guys an idea as to where we should stand. Done. Take You're a look right. at the rookies from last week. Uh, we got uh, Chiquetto. He finished P2. After starting from the back, if I'm not and mistaken. And Huff, I... know, yeah, he did. Huff, he I hate to did. cut you off, but I just want to jump yeah. back to the race here real quick because uh, we're just about to finish Qual. So I want to throw some times up. We can take a look back at that before fine, the race buddy. actually starts. Got the information we needed, bud. You're good. Nope. This is why I'm saying we need a one-hour Qual. Yeah. Y'all yeah. don't listen to me. We need a one-hour Qual. We get on here a little early, right? Start race time, start qual at 2.30 yep. instead of 3 p.m. Eastern um, and do a full one hour qual for these guys. Give them plenty of time to drive. Obviously, sprint race is a little different, but especially when we're talking about, you know, a 40 driver grid and uh, oh, a, a 45 or an endurance, you know, a 45 minute or an endurance race um, and give us plenty of time to be able to show all that stuff too. And Dunn, you're right. Sure. That transition is fantastic. Big thanks to Poppin for that. Looks so much better than the one I built. It does do my best. Good. He is. And and uh, you know what? I don't know if Poppin is watching, but I should apologize. I want to say to Poppin, I did not ignore the messages you sent me after you so <laughs> you came down on uh my money earner my the, the company that pays me lots of money. But it's okay. I don't hate you for it. I just didn't answer because <laughs> I was a little drunk at the time and then I forgot that you had messaged me. So I didn't I didn't <laughs> not I didn't not answer you on purpose. I just forgot. So apologies to pop popping for that. Oh my! Last wanna... second pole grab from Jesus. Uh, this is what I'm saying. Athwell wow. jumping up quick and hard. Look at that. Wow. Thirty-four. The That's an incredible time. And we'll go back Wowza. and keep an eye look here to see as he jumps into the pits. Name. Tom Foo's still yet to finish though. We'll see Tom losing and only holding on in, onto sector three at this point. Let's see if he's able to lock something in. Right now, running a little bit ahead of his best time. A zap crossing the line, not able to improve, unfortunately. And Foos now, or I'm, yeah, Tom Foos dropping back now about 300s, 400s uh, off his best time thus far as he finishes out. Unable to bounce Athwal. So Athwal going to jump up there. And again, we'll go back to our times quick. No, we won't, apparently. What a crappy <laughs> time from, from uh, Dimitri, though. Drives me nuts yeah, wow. this game. I mean, the Aston is a car that can eat curbs and is very good at uh, medium-speed track, so... Definitely is. This is sort of its forte. As TG sits there going, how did I get a 135 flat? Because you've been practicing, man, and you're getting better. There are the times right there, folks. So again, that Aston of Athwal jumping up, taking Sector 2 and the fastest time with a 134.4. Absolutely fantastic, but not far behind. Courts holding is going to join him in row one with a 134.6. 
And really, I mean, again, we talked about this earlier, but our top five drivers all in that 134 second range. Um, that's fantastic. We're going to see some hard battles during these 20 minute races. Today. It's going to be push, 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 man. These are only 20, so you're going to see hey, a boys, lot of aggressive driving. Who'll be this? Hey, Zappa. What's up, bud? <laughs> I quit the session by accident. Oh, <laughs> my new wheel. Time. You got time to get back in, bud. Doesn't let me. Uh, you're, it's because it's in between sessions right now. If you okay. jump in now, you will be allowed back in. Right now? You may start. Yeah, you may have to start from the pits, though. That's fine. It's in between sessions, it's going to say Never. it's full. Okay, I'm still trying. Sorry for invading the stream. Hi, everybody on the broadcast. No, you're good, man. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> What's up, Zap? Let's go take a look at Zap's stream real quick while we're waiting here. He's sitting there in his chair. Team high class starting strong, Zap. Look at him. Yeah, no, my, my glove <laughs> touched this little, like, funky switch the wrong way. I thought I hit cancel. I hit okay. Noob. Poor Zap. Trying to get in now. Being told an error occurred. Huff, I'm watching his stream right now. Yep, I'll let you know, Zap, because the, the session turns over so you can jump right in, buddy. Ah, it's in that this, wait this, time. Uh, All right, this, this go, go, go. Because he was in a different push. Beautiful. Oh, we wait there we here. Go. Problem solved. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, good, good luck. Have fun. One he minute now. Grid, Looks like he's starting from the back, however. Uh, no, where is he? Yeah, at the very back, but at least on the pits. Yeah, yeah for sure. That's starting in 26. So we take a look. Athwal with that quick jump right at the end of qualification up into P1. Athwal and Kurtz will share row one. Foose and Will Green in row two. Helman and Gable in row three. Sheffer, Sol, row four. Anderson and Fernandez in row five. That's your top ten. Bryn Evans currently sitting in 11th. Someone I don't think we're used to seeing that far down. Wow. Bryn has been really strong. So to see him starting all the way back in P11 is a little different for us. But Remco Otten's right there next to him in row six. Santos Ten seconds. alongside DJ. Asar and Thomas. Sharing row eight, Silveris, Beesing in row nine, Givens and Pickett in row ten. Chief Blaze and Blue are going to share row eleven. That will be a battle for the ages as we watch Chief Blaze get angry and your boy Blue giggle. <laughs> hey, <laughs> row, row twelve, Steven and Stevens. Steven and Stevens in row twelve. I hear you. That's fine. You're allowed. And Mare and Zap. Back there in row 13. Great grid of drivers today. Obviously, times are very tight through qualification. So we watch the formation lap proceed. I want to let everybody know that's watching right now. Don't forget, if you are interested in joining Box 3 as a driver, you want to get in on these races, exclamation box in the chat will get you the Discord address you need to go to. Thank you so much, Huff. You're the man. Yes, sir. On top of things. And if you just like watching, that's okay, too. We welcome you. Thank you so much for being here. We are here pretty much each and every week, along with fun, ra fun races. And I encourage everyone, and, and I will start... Uh, I, I got to build a, a ticker or a scroll that shows up from time to time. I think I'll build it into the lower thirds that shows some of our drivers that are online... Uh, and live during our races so that folks can go and watch them as well. Today we do have Zap who is live. We've checked on him. Steven. Live as well. DJ is live today. And your boy Blue is live as well. The only one I didn't get the chance to set up yet here before the race was Will Green. But we'll try and do Wait, that Will's once live? things... I don't know if he's live or not. Um, he did fill out the form for me. So. Okay, right on. <laughs> he's the only one I didn't get to. So. But a great grid of 26 total drivers here today at Misano for s dual sprint races. If you're watching and you're not following this channel, fix that, Dunn says in the chat. Anderson live as well. Okay. I will try and go grab Anderson. Thank you so much for that. Let me know. It will uh, it will take me a little bit. I got to get the race started here, and then hopefully during the second qualification, I can get the rest built. 
So sprint races are a little bit different, but thank you. One rule for myself. Uh, I appreciate Still you letting me know. Oh, uh, he did. And <laughs> Anderson did. No, oh, he did. Okay, he right did. I, I just haven't had a chance to check everybody. It's so hard to try and do that and also be, you know, watching qualification and everything. So. Yep. As everyone lines up into double file, we're going to go ahead and down into T1, getting ready for today's race at Misano. Watch the T1 madness unfold. I love it. Oh, it better not, buddy. We've been uh, pretty <laughs> clean in T1 so far. You know, I, I think everybody tries hard. Accidents happen. Accidents happen sure. in real life racing, right? So, to, yep. to and, and today, here we go with a green light. Let's we see how green. sprint racing goes. Everyone As, holding uh, their own so far. As someone goes spinning off into the dirt, but it didn't, I don't recall seeing contact. Maybe trying to well, avoid an try. incident. Change of the lead cohorts has gone around the outside of Athwall into T1, and took the inside line to T2, as uh, Greeny seems to be trying to make the move on Foose right now. As Beeson goes off track there into turn two. And Will Green. Heavy in the grass. Will Green not able to complete any kind of pass, though. Foose still holding on to third right now. So we watch Gables looking to move his way up as well in that Lexus. Got the fellow Lexus Anderson right behind him, so. Look for that inside cut. The just front couldn't they go. quite take it, but it, the track is just packed. Let's jump back with the can with the angle here, real quick. Bryn Evans gotten himself up into ninth oh. so far. Soul looking to take it back. Yeah, Soul uh, actually bumping Evans there into the corner. Gable tries to move around the outside and to uh, pull up the track map queue. Uh, <laughs> T13 doesn't quite make it stick. Fernandez now able to get ahead of Evans as well, bumping ahead. We jump back up. Courts leading. Thathwall right there behind him, however. Our drivers start crossing the line from Ooh. lap one. Zaps managed to make up a couple of places. Now P23 from the very back of the grid. Very nice. nice. Oh, Start for him. as uh, Greeny, I think, is spun around in turn two by, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Bryn Evans or Remco Ottens. Greeny's still I'm sitting, in, Green's still sitting in fourth, but um, Anderson moving up. Uh, who is that that spun in the background? Tobias Gable moving back the grid right now, along oh. with Bryn Evans. Apologies, that was Fernandez. Very similar looking cars. I'll tell you who's a dark horse pick for my rookie is uh, Rob Kieser. I've seen his time in the server this week. Man, he's uh, he's put in some impressive laps in that Porsche, the 992. Bryn Evans now looking to pull ahead on Remco Ottens. Will Green under pressure from Hellman. Your boy Blue holding purple in the first lap. Now, I know that doesn't sound like much because it counts all the time you're sitting at the line and all these things. But that does mean, I mean, he's gotten himself into 18th and was able to make that fastest lap the first time when everybody sat the same amount of time at the line. So pretty Let's impressive blue. there. Ports takes GG. that, however, now with a 134.8. Oh. <laughs> As Soul <laughs> gets ahead of Anderson a little further back. Bryn Evans now trying to move up, got himself ahead of... Tobias Gable. Alton's putting heavy pressure under uh, Tobias Gable here, trying to outbreak him into T4. Lexus not known to be a good braking car. The M4 is a lot better on the brake, so. Oh, as he runs wide, and, uh, yeah. it comes a little bit of a lawnmower, as we say. Japanese battleship slash lawnmower. Wait, oui, wait. Oui. Anderson might try to switch back on uh, Bryn Evans here. Not quite able to make it stick. But uh, he, should have a, he should have a pretty good chance coming into uh, Sector 3, the long straight. 
I'll tell you, that's one thing I like about these shorter race formats, especially on a track like Mizano, you're not short for battles to find. Tight packs everywhere oh. you look. Will okay, Green now under pressure as well? Oh. Anderson not able to close up in the straights. Green will survive for another lap at least. Zap did drop back down now, sitting in 25th. Uh, Huff, is there any pit regulation for this 20 minute race for each of the 20 minutes? No, there's races? no pit required. It's okay. just open, push, push, push for 20 minutes. Gotcha. Vias Gable no getting himself required. back up into ninth, now going into T1. Cars just stacked behind him. Yeah, able to get quite around back. Ottens. Santos heavy defending. Otten's going deep around the corner. Thought he could hold it. Ends up dropping back down into 12th after going way too deep on the braking into T3. Gable now pulling ahead. Anderson and Santos both clearing Otten's on that one. Let's take a look. Will Green now peeking inside with Ooh. Hellman right on his rear end. Nice pass. And I'll make it stick, Lou. And now Will Green Hellman getting around that quick. Greeny will have another chance to overtake here. Now I have to say this is definitely my favorite part of the track, these sweeping right handers. Uh, it's so Very fun. fun. Mm -hmm. But right through here, if you're late on the brakes or your brake bias is off and you didn't adjust them from the previous corner, it can send you oh. David Soul, over? David Soul, a yellow flag right Adam now, Thomas as well as track. Adam Thomas as well, both off track at this time. Teleports back to the pits, gets out the way. Kurtz holding on to P1, but just barely with Athwell right behind him by three tenths. Tom Foose there as well, as all three head around for one more lap. David Soul now with Bryn Evans. Bryn trying to take the inside. Not quite able to pull it off, though. I'll tell you what's nice to see, though. You got, like, a, a, a three-way battle here for, you know, really pole. You got, you know, the M4 and P1. You got mm -hmm. the Astons and MP2 and the M6 and P3. Yeah, Athwell just making that Aston sing today. Able to keep up. And we've seen so many. Santos now looks like off track with some struggle. Lost back down in 12th. Otten's able to move up into 11th. But yeah, if we jump up in here and look at the front of the the front of the pack, for P one, two, and three, all these guys within one one second, uh, Kurtz, Athwell, and Foose, and obviously that M four again. We've talked about it throughout the season. That M four is just so strong without a BOP on it, and and now Kurtz able to pull away a little bit as we take a jump back. Athwell fighting Tom Ooh, Foose oh, for position. Tom. Yeah, sliding there. Look it in there. Yeah. That's to take a little bit of avoiding action. I'll tell you, Tom's pushing the heck out of that car right now. He wants that position. Well, that's the beauty of sprint races. You don't have to care about your tires at all. You can just nope. shred them. Athwell continues this to hold on. This is allowing the to push away, though. As Foose Foose bids for the going outside wide. line. He set up for the inside here next turn. Nope. He backed off. Not quite Athlon able to grab it. that door very quickly. Otten's now up into 11th. Sheesh. Brynn is having a very good go at uh, David Soul back in P7, P8. Oh, and a push. Oh, oh, a little contact. A push there. He's straight him out. It's fine. Keep going, guys. We're good. Tobias Gable <laughs> looking to take advantage, though, and get himself up and around. So Gable able to move up into seventh off of that, right next to David Soul, going to come into the corner. Oh my goodness! And some what inside push, and what a cut! Both the Lexus is taking heavy advantage of that contact. Absolutely, TG yeah, just sure. swooping on through. I can't blame him for that one. He made no contact anywhere and said, "You know what? I'm going to take it." Either Bryn's overdriving or his tires have let go a little bit. He, he's just uh, 
very uh, understeery out of every corner. Tobias Gable now up into seventh in that Lexus. Oh, Anderson running a bit wide, going to give Bryn Evans the chance into this corner. And Bryn pulling ahead now. Remco right behind applying pressure to Anderson. Oh my goodness. Back at P18 uh, with Red Ryder and Fernandez. There could have been a big accident there. My God. Go back and take it a quick three look. Wide. <clears throat> three wide into uh, turn. Absolutely. A little bit of a nudge there, it looked like, as Fernandez yeah. pulls ahead, but just barely. Oh. And a little bit of a nudge on that one. Zap and uh, Rudolf Mayer back in P24 and 25 make contact, it seems. Let's take a quick look up front just to be sure. Kurt's still leading, but Hellman now has set the fastest lap with a 140, 134. So Hellman now in currently in fourth, holding fastest lap today thus far. I'll tell you guys, uh, I'll tell you though, guys, uh, this P11 <laughs> through P7 battle is intense right now. These guys are back and forth, back and forth. That's what I'm looking at. We, we just locked on to Tobias and he is leading a pack Soul, Evans, Anderson, Ottens, and Santos all right there behind him. He's got a lot of defense to play. It's been some very tight racing. I've been watching it for about a lap or two now, and they've just been on top of each other. And we uh, seem to have an identical situation with the uh, P18 to mm -hmm. P, uh, P23 pack. Very similar. Tobias style racing sliding hard through that corner, but able to pull away. Everybody, it seems like everybody's trying to outbreak each other. All these guys are pushing hard and trying to outbreak. Tobias slides, and then everybody behind him does oh, the same oh, thing. So he's able to hold Fern on to that position. Fernandez seems to have uh, used up all his track limits warnings and has a drive through now, unfortunately. That's his race done. This track's known for it, man. It's a tough one with the yeah. cuts. Red Very Rider getting passed up. Blue able to get around Red Rider now, Caleb Stevens. Oh my goodness. And who is sliding back? Fernandez headed into the pits. Oh, oh and we got a push and, on Anderson, who's yeah. now yellowed and off the wall. Let's take a quick jump back and take a look at that push again. Yeah, Alton's uh, had to change his line. Oh my goodness, as more contact happens in turn four, James Beesing and Red Rider. Yeah, both off track now, yellow flagged. Kurt's running healthily out front by 1.2 seconds. Athwell takes purple lap so far, 134.395. Tobias Gable under pressure from Bryn Evans now. Oh, and Bryn with a little bump. Bryn with a push. Wow. Sending yeah, Gable out. He's able to recover pretty quickly, though. Still losing two positions through that. I'm not sure if that's just a miscalculation or just pure difference in the braking performance of the two cars. Because uh, they're on the very opposite end of the spectrum when it comes to braking. They definitely are. The Lexus is known to be a horrible braking car. It's so heavy and battleshipy. Take a look now. Otten's. Coming up on the back end of Santos. Oh. Just at six and a half minutes left today in the first of two sprint races. Been a lot of action so far. So far. Format. Tell you what, I don't like sprint races anymore, Puff. <laughs> I don't think Will's going to like him either. After about, after about 15 <laughs> minutes, I get to take a break, right? Like the race opens up on a 45, and after about the first 10 yep. minutes, everybody spreads out. I can kind of chill on trying to catch things. And now yep. it's not happening today. <laughs> we watch Santos able to get around Ottens now. Fast I don't think Rimko's going to let him have that. 
Uh, he's a little bit too far back to make any sort of move into the right hander. Now that's the one I wonder about right there where we saw Remco go way inside on that corner on the tight right hander. Um, I wonder about track limits there. I mean, we've already seen one drive through, which like you said, on a 20 minute race is basically you're done. It would be uh, lovely to be able to see how many cuts these drivers have. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, the thing with this track is this track, in order to be quick, you have to take every single curve that you can yep. take advantage of. And with that, you'll get track cut warnings. And uh, it's about trying to find the right balance of mm -hmm. pushing the limits and not ending your race. Only get two until, la you know, the last lap and then send it. Hey, that's get, my strategy, if, too. If you get one <laughs> more, sure. then <laughs> I ain't getting a penalty, right? So. Yep. <laughs> Take a look as long again. as you don't gain time, you're fine. Yep. Otten's looking to go inside on Santos. Not able to do it and slide sideways into the grass. Don't know I'll what might have happened really there. Stretch his lead out up front, though. He's got over a second on Athol right now. So. He does, yeah. And Kessar able, Kisar able to get ahead of Otten's after that nudge. We'll have to see if that comes through on the incident report because it could have been a push in on the part of Santos. Tobias Gable now up on the back of David Soul. Oh, Pickett making the move on uh, one of the Lexuses. Anderson going up the inside of the fast right-handers. We can jump back and see if we can catch it. Anderson's think, car is just uh, looking beat up. Though. That's rough. Yeah, I think he has some heavy damage there. I think so. His blue's pushing up on Anderson right now, looking to, to take advantage of that. I think uh, Anderson's definitely not going to dive into the pits with three minutes remaining. There's no point. No. It's unfortunate, but kind of salvage what you can at this point. Hope for race two. Tom Foos currently sitting in third, looking to be under pressure from Hellman now. Hellman trying to close that gap up, but it stretches back out. Your boy Blue makes the pass, able to get into 17th around A. Anderson. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those two are in a chat together over in Zap server, so I'm sure there was a little bit of communication. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at Zap's feed real quick and see how he's doing. He's uh, running a bit of a lonely race right now. But uh, he does seem to be catching James Beesing at the moment. He's got a lot going on. Like you know, like we said, with that new gear, he's trying to adjust to that. He doesn't have a ton of experience with this track. So. Chief Blaze now catching up on the back of Steven. As we got As Steve in Inns right behind them. What's this like a battle of the ugliest cars? Is you got Chiefs Green Bentley and, and Stevens Green Ugly McLaren? We'll tell you a battle that is happening. <laughs> Tobias Gable now battle. into the pits right at the end here, but Otten's just cleared Kesar. So Gable into the pits now, dropping position quickly with only a minute 50 to go. Must have had something happen. There's no way he did that this close he's had a rough race man he has but now we take a look for p3 tom foos under attack uh he's got a drive through that by alan it. hellman yeah. oh yeah a drive through yep that'll do her I don't think foos is going to be uh too scared down this straight even the m4 and the m6's toe will not uh really catch up massively unfortunately for hellman Looks like we're going to see a great battle here for uh, podium position. Mm-hmm. We got Hellman one more keeping it close, throw. that's for sure. But uh, definitely don't count out uh, Radicus. He's uh, no. If Coates makes a single mistake, he'll be on his ass. Well, that's what I was going to say. I mean, it really seven impressive lap. It really only takes that single that single slip up in this last lap, and he's got him right to hold 
to take that position. So Foose has survived the first sector, which is where the M4 should be strongest, so he should be pretty set for the rest of this lap unless he makes another mistake. Yep. Hopes to catch a toe. I think he's just outside the range, though. <laughs> Let's be honest, that M6 does not need a toe. No. <laughs> I was scared for my life. As he runs race. a bit wide there as Hellman looks to take advantage Hellman of that. Hellman looking on the inside. The Oh, Whoa. and a nudge. Oh, and that's not good oh, at all. Okay, Tom Foose now slipping. Elman going to take yeah. that position, but not in the way you want to. Foose now dropping behind Will Green. That's unfortunate. Uh, it, yeah, I don't, I didn't really see any purposeful intent there. It just sort of looked like difference in breaking lines, really. It, yeah. Yep. Anderson now ahead of Caleb Stevens, Red Rider. What happened to TG? TG dropped. It looked like he got a drive through and ended up in the pits having to take that. Chief Blaze now off track as well in P19 with Caleb Stevens moving up against Anderson. Colorts crossing the line. Yannick Cross to take P1. Dimitri oh. shortly after in P2. Take a look at our times right there. Colorts takes P1 Athwal. P2. And there's your P3 and P4, A. Hellman and Tom Foose. Will Green giving up position. And uh, the Foose coming quite, in fifth. Oh, I'm sorry. Will Green dropping long. off. On the uh, on the line, Hellman seemed to slow down for Foose, but then still took the P3, which is a little Guys, odd. What happened to Will Green? I'm really not sure, actually. Where is After, he? Uh, He's sitting in the sand. Let's take a quick look back here and see if we can see oh. what happened. Last touch I he was P5, no? Yeah, so... Breaks. Oh, back in P17, there's a great battle happening. As uh, Steve hopes to get the switch back. And oh my, he will get it. Oh no. Not for long. Unlucky contact. He got the beautiful switch back and uh, they just seem to drift into each other a little bit there. So, folks, there are your top 10 at least for the first, well, top... 17 at this point as drivers continue to finish for race one of our double sprint race series today. Courts taking P1, D. Athwell in P2, Hellman in P3. That is your podium. Tom Foose in fifth, Sheffer in fifth. Bryn Evans comes in sixth. David Soul in seventh. Santos in eighth. Ottens in ninth. And Kessar, Kisar, tenth. I'm still pronouncing names wrong. Off. That was yeah, intense. Yeah, that I, was a uh, crazy ass race, man. That it was, was a crazy, crazy race racing at its right there. Lost it on the last lap. That was unfortunate. <clears throat> Take a look over to Zap and check on some of these guys. Zap, Zap, Zap Brannigan says, "Be right back. I'm taking a break before the next qualifying." Can you blame him? Green. <laughs> Green says his game crashed on the last corner. That's Is why that what so... happened? Okay, that's yeah, why. He's just Now, to be perfectly honest, I don't think this top 10 will look the same uh, once the penalties are applied because there was a lot of bump in that race. Yeah, yeah there, there was, was there were quite a few bumps and scrapes along the way. So, But it looked like up front, Coors and Athwal, they kept it clean. I don't recall seeing any contact from either of those guys. So yeah. That should hold I strong think, there with P1 and 2. I think Hellman will be dropping back. Uh, Bryn. Maybe yeah, Santos. I, so I don't know. I think Santos was definitely in a collision, but I don't know who was at fault there. Good to see Rob uh, Kieser, though, in P10. It's good on him. Yeah, as Good long result. as he didn't get any uh, contact that race, he'll definitely be jumping up. Yep. So qualification and race number two. Are we heading into the evening hours, you said, Huff? We sure are, sir. Excellent. It's going to get dark. Temperature's going to change. Get ready for tire pressure changes. Get ready for a lot today. more incident reports. A lot more. 30% chance of rain. <laughs> no, no rain. Track. Beautiful. I'll tell you, that's one of the craziest things I've seen in, in setting up servers and dealing with servers, that Silverstone race. Mm -hmm. Dude, how many times were we in that lobby, John, and it never rained, but like briefly. 
I mean, and I then was... the entire six hours it was flooded. It was fantastic. I loved it. it was Sitting over here, it was absolutely <laughs> awesome. I'm not gonna lie to you. But none of the box three people finished in a very like competitive position or what we'd want to be. No, not at all. Oh, that reminds. I think and, you were uh, involved in an early incident, right? You know, fairly early yeah, your team. Into yeah, into Nagat's Beckett's, he sort of just swooped in front of me, and you know, I was spooky, man, so I just sort of hit a puddle and spun, unfortunately. But qualifying was good, I'd say. And in, uh, in oh. hindsight, I definitely would have taken the full wet setup for the entire race, though, considering those less than an hour of dry running the entire race. Yes. I'll tell you, these guys are probably appreciating the long intermission time to kind of get their get their breath and. Well, and especially after a race like that, I mean, that was an absolutely insane race. I mean, we saw so much close driving, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. We saw so much close driving, so many, so much jockeying for position that I think, yep. yeah, I mean, they really need a minute to to kind of hang out and uh, and get their heads square, be ready to come for into sure. this next one. And really, I mean, I think. The biggest thing for me is shaking off either one of two things. Either A, anger, because somebody boffed you, right? And ruined your 20 minute sprint. Or B, the feeling of I'm the jerk because I hit somebody, right? Th right? Those are two very different feelings, but both equally distracting when it comes to running another race right away. And it makes it very difficult to just jump in there. Yes, it does. These are, you know, essentially kind of, it's, it's great because it's got the dynamic of the short 20 minutes. You know, most most people in public lobbies are used to doing the 20 minute push push races. You know, they're quick, they're fun, on to the next one. Mm -hmm. But this is like public lobbies with people whose driving habits you know, so that makes it much more interesting. Yeah, 100%. Now, one thing that did shock me from that last race is Brent Evans. I wasn't expecting uh, so much contact to be a factor in his uh, race because I've had many, many, many very good battles with him wheel to wheel uh, yeah. in the races that I participated in. Um, mm -hmm. And he is one of the cleaner drivers, definitely. So not really sure what happened in that last race to him. Well, you, you know, how much does it hit where we're talking about... It's this 20 minute format. You gotta be fast on it, right? You 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 don't have a ton of time to make up a loss. So how much harder are you pushing? I, I, I can't sit here and honestly say I know because I've never run this this format uh, myself. Right? So maybe you guys can comment on on how that works and how much there is and, and you know it's just I don't know how much that plays into your attitude when you come into a race like this. Like, am I going to push harder than I normally do, given I have 20 minutes versus 45 or a one hour? 100 percent, dude. I'm from the the drop of the flag. I'm I'm push 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 all the way for a race like this. Because mm -hmm. you have to be. I mean, there's very little room for error. And you know, ideally, in a 20 minute race, you want to be making up most of your positions within the first five and uh, chipping away at the remaining few for the yep. team. But uh, you definitely make up the majority of positions in the first lap. That's why it's very important for, you know, number one, a good qualifying position, and number two, you know, a clean one or two laps. Because after that, you know, once your tires are warm, that's when you can really begin to push. And this is, a, for this track in particular is quite easy to do a lot of defending. So mm -hmm. qualifying is definitely going to be a massive play here. Oh, if I'm going to take a quick step away, I've left it on your uh, your feed. You're fine, buddy. I'm AFK as well, but I've got a feed on, and I'll yep. be back in in a minute. You're fine. Same here. we are just got qualifying running right now. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. I appreciate you being here. Myself, Kevin Huffman, John Tracy. I, I have all the power now that the big boys are leaving. I, <laughs> I know. No, I'm still here. You're the... fine, John. I'll be here to hold your hand. <laughs> I'm just, uh, John, I'm outside. Give me a minute. Honestly. Oh, of course, no. God, actually. I know we got Chief and Red in here somewhere, but they're quiet as they are driving today. Once in a while, Chief Blaze will chirp in. Just to... 
his yeah, best to keep doing... it PG. I'm proud of him so I mean, far. He's doing job. great so far. He's fantastic. I love Chief Blaze. He's one of my favorites. We got Zap Brannigan Cam. Let's take a look at Zap. Out looking to get a qualifying lap in. Thus far, only two laps set. Remco Otten's currently holding fastest with a 135, almost flat. Anderson with a 136. Tom Foos quickly taking that over with a 135 as well. But we'll continue to let these times come in as we check on our various drivers today. Steven out there. Everybody running hard. G. Steven on track today. Your boy Blue is out there as well. Along with Anderson. All these guys driving hard. I want to thank everybody for being here before I do take a quick minute to step away. Before we start our next race. We're going to jump over to what I affectionately call Huff Cam. That's right, buddy. I'm back in the seat so we can... We can switch views. We are good Roger to go. that. I'm going to be able to hear you guys, but you won't be able to hear me if I yell and scream and cuss. Might not All be right. a bad thing. I'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> PG-13, please. That's right. Family friendly. PG-13 PG <laughs> does allow you, just so you know, John, I don't know because you're in Australia. I don't know if you know or not. PG-13 does allow you one F-bomb in the entire film. So just don't, freak, any, yeah. don't anybody tell Chief that. What per person? <laughs> Okay. No, just one throughout the per entire person. broadcast. It's not one per person. It's one. Okay. You really got my hope up there. For I know, it's but no, because Chief will suck it up the first chance he gets. Don't tell him. He's not deafened. He's just muted. So. <laughs> He's waiting to go back to the pits. Yeah, I wouldn't count on it's that. It's like a track cut. You get one. You got to know when to use it. <laughs> track cut. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, this helmet and... Uh... Chief Blaze got very racy in qualifying. Jeez, that was very close. Rimco currently sitting in P3. Wee oui, wee. Oui. A bit early, but good luck for him. And uh, this evening time, though, it's really beautiful, man. The sun coming down, you get a lot of shadows cast. It is a, it's a good looking track at, at the, the evening time. There's uh, no one driver seems to be taking more than one sector at the moment. As uh, Athwell jumps no. up to P3 again. Yeah. Yeah, Rimko sitting down there in, in fourth with the fastest third sector in his M4. Wonder when I Tom's going to come up. Uh, you know, yeah, he's going to take yeah. that sector too pretty soon. Yeah. I mean, from what we saw last qualifying, the Aston was fastest in sector two because it has a good blend of tight corners and a little, little sure. bit of a straight. I wouldn't call it a big straight. Yep. Um, well, sector three has those right-handers, which is uh, a key overtaking point in the track, which is where Foose would shine, and uh, Sector 1 is all about, is, you know, the end for all day. <laughs> yeah. Much like most it's of the other tracks in the game points. currently. <laughs> <laughs> That's its property. Bryn Evans jumping into P4 ahead of Ottens, while... Uh, Bryn Evans and D. Athwell are not holding and set purple in any sector, just... Oh, what a lap from Hellman. I just saw that time, a 34-2. Oh, my. Kraken. Well, and Yannick just two tenths behind him, really, so excellent laps from them. Compared to uh, last qualifying, I believe this is a bit cooler, so they yeah, are able sure. to squeeze a little bit more out of the tires as uh, the tires will definitely be screaming a little bit in the third sector, I would imagine. Yep. It's kind of an interesting dynamic because, you know, the track is cooler. You can push a bit harder, but it's also dark. So, you know, that kind of plays. Yeah. Are they going to push as hard being being in the dark? Even even in the race, you know, in qualifying, you have to really avoid pushing your tires for the first two laps. You know, you really for do sure. need two laps with this update to avoid graining because yeah. the second you get graining on your tires, that's performance lost. And you may as well go back to the pits and uh, slap a new tire set on. Seeing Athwall up there again in that Aston. Well, as he takes P2. Currently in P2. Holding Sector 3 as well. Hellman. Come on, Moose. Currently P1 with just over one minute left to go in today's qualifying session for race two. Again, to everybody watching, 
If you are a driver, thank you so much for being here. If you are just a fan, by all means, make sure you hit that follow button. Come back and watch us. We're here almost every week, plus endurance races mixed in. I think next season might be a little different. I don't know. We're going to talk about it. Might be. Might be. Die might by be. More information coming soon. Stay Absolutely. Tuned. I think it's going to be fantastic. Exclamation box in the Discord for new people. That's right. Come and join the Discord if you want to drive. Listen, and it's box three. So we are a community first and we are sim racer second, which means we don't care if you're on controller. We don't care if you have a G920 or if you have the top end super customized whatever manufacturer makes the like the five thousand dollar pedals and wheel doesn't matter come drive with us we're here to have fun and get in some hard sim racing kind of stuff in cloud camping and a controller so uh am i still welcome <laughs> if you were not on g-force 100 dude because <laughs> you were you were extremely rapid even on a controller I'm yeah not gonna... well uh, who is yeah. it um Oh, who's the driver on Xbox? It's on controller and just JB smacks. Racer. There you go, JB. That's who it is. I couldn't think yep. of the name. JB is on controller and absolutely just super consistent. I mean, he doesn't he, he he's not over dominating, but he just really consistent and does a great sure. job uh racing on a controller. So we certainly don't want to discount anybody out there who might, you know, not have a sim racing rig, might not be set up. Huff, you're going to be mad at me cuz I'm about to drop on i racing. Um, no. because my no. yeah, listen, where's the, where's the leave chat button? Let me no. call here's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're gonna check the later. times real Good quick. Talk. As yeah. we come to end of qualification, real quick, Hellman holding oh, hold up final. in the third thus far. Sheesh, Athwal in second, Tom Foose in third, Hertz finishing in fourth this time, but still holding sector one. As we take a look at these times, all the way down to the top seven drivers. Finishing with Brent Rapid. Evans right there with a 134.9, all within that, you know, seven tenths of a second of each other. Race two is going to be just as interesting as race one. Um, but yeah, listen, man, here's the problem. Here's the problem. ACC, my only way to race right now, really, uh, is VR. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't have triple monitor. I, I, I do have, I will have triple monitor starting Tuesday, but I don't have a way to set it up. Uh, in a place that's conducive to racing. I'll have three monitors, but I can't put them all together in one location, right? Gotcha. So the only way to, for me to race is VR, and ACC is absolutely horrid at VR. It's terrible. That is very true. It's, it, you're, it, it's, it's a all. demanding game. It's so expensive to run. Yeah. So, well, I, I mean, the problem isn't even that. I When I could get it to work, it ran fine. I could drive in VR in ACC. The problem is getting it to work. Yeah. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. It's all over the place. It's ridiculous. So I really can't. I, I, I can't race ACC in VR, which means I can't race. So I'm going to try iRacing because apparently the VR experience on that is great. And so I will try iRacing. Which means Mazda Cup cars and dirt tracks, and I'm not gonna circle race with Chief. So I can't. I can't handle it. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. He wants me to drive NASCAR things, and I just I feel yes. bad about myself. Hey, Chief, let me ask you something. If I if I race NASCAR stuff, do I have to put in a chaw? <laughs> Is that oh, no. a rule? And drink whiskey, I mean, bourbon whiskey, out of Kentucky? Why? Well, yeah, I typically drink whiskey. Well, I drink scotch whiskey, but it's not the same as bourbon whiskey out of Kentucky. Am I required to dry yeah. that, to drink that? Oh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Do whatever Cheap. you want, man. It's your life. <laughs> whatever makes you happy. Whatever Chief, you I do have a question. Oh. Yo. What happened between uh, you and Hellman in qualifying there? I saw a little bit of uh, bumping, I think. Mm, I don't think close. so. He just got real close to me when I was trying to let him by. Gotcha. So Kurt's holding fast to slap this time, finishing out first, bumping Hellman at the end with a 134-242. Hellman with a 134-265. But again, you got to go all the way back to P9 now to find someone outside that 134 mark when it comes to today's race. This is going to get Dude, a little nutty. And we are going to be driving in the dark, 11 p.m. race time. Uh, 
Now, uh, something we forgot to do in the last race. Can I get some uh, pre-race predictions? Oh. All right, let's go with the rookie drivers first. That is red badge drivers. Who are you guys picking? Well, Kurtz is going to come out. I mean, we you got to look at between Kurtz and Hellman, right? It's all whoever gets the inside on T1. Yep, yep. Because Kurtz, I mean, Kurtz is a wicked clean driver. He doesn't get past a lot, though. He knows how to play that defense, right? So I, I if he's able to hold through T1, I see Hellman having a hard time getting around him until he makes a mistake. And we have not seen Kurtz make a lot of mistakes. Well, I wonder Hellman, how much of that comes from him, uh, from his professional karting, you know, because he does do that. So, like, how much of that defense and, you know, just, just general track awareness and knowledge comes you know, from hold that? Being able to hold it? I, I got to imagine there's a yeah. good bit, yeah. I'd imagine all, all of it, if not most of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's what we talked about last week a little bit, right, when we, when we discuss, you know, uh, shooting for the gap and all these things, and you're not Verstappen and you're not Hamilton. These guys that have this real-world experience... Even if it's short-lived, right? Even if, I don't care if it's for a year, I don't care if it's for three years, four years, five years. We talk about someone like Will Green who has raced motorcycles in the past, right? Obviously, mm -hmm. motorcycle racing is not GT3 racing. They're two very different disciplines. However, there are rules that carry over between the two that you can then apply to the sim racing, which helps sure. you be a better driver, right? Um, and so, if you know, I, I don't know anything about Kurt's background, but if he's been kart racing even for a year or two, even only at a kart racing level, again, never making it to that GT3, I'm running the 24 hours of Spa with the likes of, uh, um, well, I can't even think of names right now because I'm just <laughs> focused on this. But, but you, under, you guys understand what I'm saying. Even that is going to carry over to sim racing. Not so much in the control of the vehicle, I think, but more in finding the line. You just, you know where to look on the track, right? Yep. Um, you could take someone like Will Green again, who's raced motorcycles and take him to a track he's never seen and put him on a bike and he's going to be faster than someone who's never raced like that before or who has only sim raced because he just knows where to look for that line. He knows where to find it. And I think that makes a huge difference. I think the, the big playing factor is just overall patience i would say because you know you can't do these massive sends in real life racing without consequence half the time so yep. i mean that's that's a big difference between for example me i know at zanvor i was uh pushing on clueless quite a lot even though i was the net p1 i didn't have to do that pushing but it was uh probably a bit of a dumb move but you know that sort of patience is something that coeds would definitely be strong at i would say and I think you probably learn that skill a lot more when there is actual money involved in mistakes. Or real you know I mean? or real damage to yourself or the vehicle, right? Like, For sure. you yeah. know, we're all sitting here and we all sim race um, to one level or another. Again, some of us, like myself, it's it's a hobby. It's just fun. I'll do it when I can. Uh, some of these guys want to be eSport drivers or are eSport drivers. And there is there's real money on the line, but there's no real consequence, right? There's right. no There's no real... Uh, Nobody, you're not suffering bodily damage if you take that corner too hard. You're going to lose this race, but you're not going to you're, you're not going to die. Um, once you, once you do it in real life, too hard. <laughs> but once you oh. do it in real life and you you've taken that corner and you could actually get severely injured or possibly die, dead, that's a huge difference, right? And we've got drive-throughs already on Silveris and Caleb Stevens as we come as, into P1. Uh, helmet, helmet, helmet. Around the outside takes the inside for turn two. Will Coed stick it around the outside with him? Coed's having around the inside outside. line for turn three and retakes the lead. Wow, that was beautiful. Coed's able to hold on. Athwal, though, boost moving up into third. Briefly. Athwal, yeah. Athwal taking it right back. As but we've watched Tom Cruz. apply pressure in the past, and I have a feeling Athwal's going to be feeling it this entire race unless Foose gets around early. Uh, Tom Foos just seems the type that he is not, he's, again, you mentioned patience. He's very patient, but at the same time, he's able to take that when he wants to. As, uh, I think whoever got the drive-through, uh, also spun into turn three, who would that be? That would be, uh, Silvarez. Silvarez and, uh, Red Rider both pulling drive-throughs. 
sure Red's ecstatic about that. Do you want to use the one the one pass, Red? Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He might try and join in when he's uh, driving to the pit lane. There you go. Jump back, Ooh, Sheffer under uh, pressure from Soul. Now Soul backing off. Grainy applying heavy pressure to Foose right now. Yeah, I think I think Tom, we were talking about patience. I think he definitely decided to pull out of that uh, that little battle with Apple early on. I think a lot of that was tires. A lot of it was, hey, I got 18 minutes to get the job done, so I'll just fall back a tenth or two. Mm -hmm. One thing I am surprised is with Helmet uh, is currently dropped back from Color so and is leading this pack of uh, P2 to P6 currently. Mm -hmm. I know last race Helmet was making a lot of moves and was the fast top three fastest drivers on the track so i'm a bit surprised he's not able to keep up with cohorts at the moment maybe he just didn't fire up his tires on the outlap yeah i think so i see he got a little worse start uh, a little uh, qualified uh, a bit more back last race no was he like five or six yeah yeah, yeah so he's got the advantage of being up front early on James so it'll be interesting Jason to see what he can do defending from wilson fernandez as uh givens looking to make a move on adam thompson and does get through. You got That's Red and Kevin both coming out of the pits, clearing their drive through. Hate to see that. Take a look back at Givens making his pass in that Porsche. Able to open it up and take the inside corner. See, I told James, you know, in the driver's meeting, I wanted a better result for race two. Let's see if he can if he can hold that. He promised me. He pinky promised. <laughs> he pinky promised. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yostin Schaffer now under pressure from Seoul with Kisar and Anderson both right there as well. Schaffer dropping back. Went yeah, way I'm looking wide. forward to this battle though between, you know, really right now P, P10 through 12. Two Porsches and a, and a Lexus, man. These guys, you know, we, we race together almost every night, you know, Rob, DJ, Anderson. So they're, they're very familiar with each other. Oh yeah, and that's one thing I forgot to mention. If anybody in the uh, Twitch wants to join the Discord, if you uh, don't want to do serious league racing, we have a good group of, you know, anywhere from four to ten people at night playing pubs oh, yeah. all together. Very fun. For sure. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, don't That's mainly the... where I find myself. You know, I don't have time to really sit down and do these league races to focus and practice on track. So that's where I find myself most of the time throughout the week is just hopping in the server and hit up a few public lobbies. Absolutely. So, yeah, don't let that fear of league racing or things, you know, steer you away from joining the Discord. Absolutely come in. You're going to find folks there that want to race, even outside of the league races. Again, whether it's fu whether it's league fun races that are not, yep. you know, no points, um, nothing like that. It's, it's get on track and have fun with the league. Or it's finding a group of guys that are on the same time zone as you or are, are online the same time as you, and you're able to come out and... Uh, just do some public lobbies with him. Hellman oh, currently. Green. Greeny putting pressure. Heavy, heavy pressure. Tom um, Foos. Hellman currently holding fastest lap with a 134.4. We'll see if he can hold that consistency to catch up to Kurtz, currently leading by 1.5 seconds. Uh, that's a big gap to overtake in, in a 20 it minute is. race. Especially with Especially only 15 minutes left to go. Yep. Yeah. Because he's got Athwal oh. right behind him as well. Yep. Given scary man to have in your rear view. He's rapid. Oh, as Chief Blaze makes a beautiful dive up the inside on your my boy Blue. Jumping up into P22. Nicely done, Chief. Take a look back. Orson blew a little wide, but took the line. Able to hold on to it for Chief Blaze. James Bessing currently holding position over Givens and Thomas as well. We take a look. Bryn Evans and Ottens. Ottens able to make the pass. Let's replay that real quick. Yeah, Bryn really seems to be struggling. Um, I'm not used to seeing him down in the... Very the slow out of that corner. Through. Brent's got a drive-thru. That's early oh, for a drive-thru. No. Wow. Yeah. There goes his race, rope. 
he could still come back towards the end, you know, he is still yeah. rapid. He is Brin. He is Brin. He is the Brin. <laughs> Another <laughs> real life racer, of course, like Coed's driving carts. Yep, yep, yep. They're actually buddies cool. IRL, if I'm not mistaken. No, I'm sorry, it's a different group that I'm thinking of. Yannick yeah. and uh, Sheffer. Sheffer. Yeah. yeah. I think Bryn might have had a race today, actually. Oh, Bryn smacks the wall and pit entry. I think that, uh, that's going to be a little bit of damage. Oh, and he's uh, he smacked the wall again. I think he's rage quit. <laughs> he's Dropping just very oh. fast with that drive through. Oh, and uh, I think Bryn could... Evans has completely rage quit from the server. Yeah, he has. And could we see Hellman? Could we see our first 133 of the day? Uh, Hellman. Holding fastest lap right oh. now with a 134.1. Sheffer getting around it. Kisar. Yeah, you can do the replay. It's happened very On who? Recently. Which one are we uh, looking Spinner. at? Oh, okay. Spinner in T3, uh, Rogerio Santos. Makes a clean rejoin, though, so it's all good. He a little bit of bump from, little bit of oh, bump from Kisar on that. He got disqualified. Wait, who did? Uh, Santos, I reckon, from driving the wrong way. Yeah. Trying to re enter. Unlucky. That's crazy. Oh, Rob. Rob another bump. Yeah, wow. Those it are is. love taps, but that's, uh, that's some aggressive loving, Rob. Uh, love taps is enough at uh, Masano because the marbles will get you. Trust me. Definitely will. <laughs> oh, you're my boy Blue and Chief Blaze having a beautiful fight here. Rob gave that back to him. Definitely. Love to see that. Oh. Chief going up the inside oh very close good battle here p22 side by side we're going gonna go side straight. by side down the straight let's take a look bentley power versus lexus power let's see who comes out on top chief set up here for the inside so he should be oh, able he's to run deep because though. he runs wide wow run deep on on side back one. oh we're trading yeah, door paint though Chief now yeah. very wide through the hairpin. Chief's a bit of a marble hunter right now, it seems. Oh, tries to move up the inside, does not make it stick. I think that was kind of a more of a concession of position. Like, hey, sorry for the bump. Here you go. Athwall now down into P16 as we were watching that battle. Really? Oh, no. What happened there? Let's rewind and take a look. He's sitting 30 seconds ago, sitting in the grass. Right at the start finish with a very, oh, with a very scary re-entry. Three cars coming towards him. Mm. Dropping Lucky. him way, way back. It is getting a bit touchy, and I was about to say, this race is looking cleaner, and that's not what I expected. It's a night race, so. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that was, you're right, Steadfast. That was very close. A very, very kind of sketchy rear entry, a re-entry. Kurt's still holding on to first. Hellman in second. Tom Foos in third with Will Green right behind him, though. This should be a fun battle here between Will and Tom. Take a look here and see if we can watch Will Green take it to Tom Kortz down into T1. Tom Kortz? I'm Beautiful. sorry, Tom Man Foos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting confused with all the names today. Oh, Granny seeming to use one of his track limits when he's there, I'd imagine. He ate That's a fine. lot of curb. Use them. They're there to be used. You got three. <laughs> <laughs> True that. It's Granny. Oh, That's close. Uh, back in P15, there's a great battle currently between... Uh, Athwall and uh, Broken Clutch Adam Thomas. Apologies if you hear screaming in the background. That might be my sister. Not gonna lie. Screeching well, sister. taking that position. Entered the chat. You already know, Huff. You already know. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Athwall able to take that position now. Getting ahead of Thomas. Oh. Your boy Blue and Chief Blaze still battling back here in P21 and 22. There's a, I think that was a good battle at P13. Yes, there is. That's actually who I was watching. Kind of a three-way, oh. really. Giggity. Given's going a bit wide there. I'm not sure if that was a bump or not.
Oh, uh, you're my boy Blue and Chief Blaze come together again. Uh, Both yellow flag Blaze, right now. Yeah, yielding the position, so I'm guessing some sort of contact happened there. James Beesing under pressure right now Ooh. from Athwal. Wow, that was close. Obviously, Athwal struggling earlier, now down into P14, but one of our, you know, was a P, a podium driver. Um, now looking to get around Beesing. Did we uh, conclude that was from drive through or spin? Or? No, not off the replay. Oh, my goodness, that is so close. Athwal trying to switch back as uh, Beesing runs a bit wide. Oh, Givens nearly takes Gibbons him. Gibbons up at the rear. Wow. Yeah. And uh, Adam Thomas, Thomas is right there. We've got four drivers right here stacked. Wow. Oh, Sparks are flying. Sparks everywhere, yeah. That's fine. I think he said I'll take a track cut for, for some uh, clean air. Not Gets a bad the, play from Athwell. Athwell now, and both of them able to get around Beesing, but side by side yeah. through it again. Thomas sort of slips in there, takes advantage. Once again, Blue and Chief Blaze having a great fight here. Oh, in the lead, though. Hellman is really closed up. Wow. Yeah, he's within four yes, tenths now. Wonder what happened to Tom and Will right behind them. So Crazy seven minutes. Actually, the top six are in uh, two pack clusters right now. Yeah, they are. Soul able to get himself up into fifth. Will Green now oh. also closing in on Tom Foos. All over the back of that M6. BJ looking for another strong finish in class two. He's sitting currently uh, oh, P2 in class. Uh, James Beesing and Adam Thomas coming together, I imagine. As uh, Zapp will look to take advantage, takes a position off of James Beesing. Yeah, there we see Zap shooting through. Oh, still into the wall. Daniel Pickett on the uh, not quite sure what part of the track that is. It's looking like the last corner. Yeah. Yeah. So I just wonder if he got a little bit too aggressive and lost it on corner exit there, coming out of that hairpin just prior to. So he heads into the pits with six minutes to go. Yeah, that's a surprising move, unless there's suspension damage. Mm -hmm. Any battles right now? Just Hellman continuing to put pressure on Yannick, and of course Tom and Will still going at yeah, it. Tom, Will, Will within a half a second. Hellman stays within half a second of Kurtz up front. Anderson, Anderson. pushed up on uh, yeah. Shepard. Yeah, yeah. Really closed up there in the last two laps. DJ under pressure oh, as well from Kisar as well. This should be a fun little Porsche Porsche battle here, man. These guys yeah. are bo both very similar pace. They're towing toe when it comes to raw pace. Yep. Kisar going very wide though. And Fernandez right there with him. We got a three car stack going into T1. Four, actually. As once again, Blue and uh, Chief Blaze having a really good battle. And see, that's what we were saying earlier. It doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter if you're an alien or just a guy that gets out and does laps. You know, these guys aren't the fastest guys. That's no disrespect, but they're both back there having a blast, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to uh, watch back Blue stream and see what kind of uh, concoction <laughs> yes. he can make. <laughs> DJ hey, having a little bit of a I slide, did. but able to hold position so far over Kisar. What was the clean version? Uh, uh, I, I don't think there is one, honestly. Kisar no, able to now. <laughs> Kisar able to take position after again DJ just makes that slide, but they're gonna go side by side down the straight. I think DJ has yielded that a little bit. He did, yeah, Definitely. because he had a bit of a slide back there. Oh, as Gable will try and make to put the move here. Yeah, I think I think Ooh. TG's got a bit of pace on on DJ. So as he gets a bit aggressive and loses it on the exit, 
I think he uh, nicked his right rear onto the uh, grass there and got a bit of wheel spin. I think so too. Dives back up down the inside of Fernandez. Nice move. Just under four minutes left to go in today's race. Second of two sprint races at Misano. It hasn't been short of action, I can tell you that, especially race two. It's been a lot, a lot of tight. Backs. That's what I'm saying. These things are hard to keep track of. <laughs> and uh, this has been a very entertaining race to commentate. Yeah, and, and fairly clean overall. I mean. Vice Gable now under pressure from Fernandez. We'll see if he can hold out. Will Green just not quite able to get on the back of Tom Foos. You know, putting Fernandez. himself in a position oh. where he can take it. Fernandez and um, who's that? Gable just seemed to drift into each other a little bit there. Fernandez is able to make the move. Oh, TG yep. flashing him, saying, "Hey, hey, what happened? You bumped me. You didn't give possession yeah. back. I'm sure that was yeah, the language I." I uh, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> that was the translation of the light flash for me. <laughs> Bit of an interpreter. Yep. Wee wee baguette. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Zap yeah, Robin now. Robin still back there. Zap under pressure from Jay Beezing and Steven right now. We catch up with Zap real quick. Let's go check on him. Cohorts is about to run into a bit of traffic here with uh, Kevin Silvarez. I think this is the first blue flag we're getting this entire race session. Could Zap, be interesting to see. Zap all set up now with the pedal oh. cam and everything. Yeah, he's got a good looking setup, man. He does. Killing it over there on his stream. Hashtag jealous. That's right, dude. We we have a blast. I tell you, man. I I caught Zap randomly. He he popped in my stream just random one night, and he and I have just been you know really good buddies online. He's a he's a great guy. It's been a pleasure meeting so many good people throughout uh, you know this just adventure of sim racing. You know what I mean for sure. It's even going way wide now, conceding that position of easing. Oh, oh and, contact uh, up front, oh, guys. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh -oh. Just caught the end of that. You back. may have time to see it if you get in there at Molson. No, he definitely won't. Take a jump back. I think it was a yep. little a bit hard, of a helmet. A hard push. Really? A hard push. Wow. That was quite the knock. I wonder if that's just the frustration finally being released after these 20 minutes of being stuck behind them. Yeah. But Kurt's able to hold on and uh, Hellman conceding that position to him. Tom Foos and That's Will fine. Green. Still very tight. Will trying to look for that opportunity and just not quite able to make it yet. David Soul yellow flagged, but holding his position. Steve gets past James Beesing finally. It's P17. Yep. They were running tight for a while. Oh, Green. Will Green now yeah. right up in the chance to grab podium. So far, and again, Tom Foos, another one of those we've seen, and consistency is the word, right? So Tom Foos, as of yet, not conceding that position to Will Green, and Green yet to have an opportunity to, to make that, that pass. So far as, once again, doing a beautiful job with blue flags. We look up front, Hellman now right on the back end of Kurtz as we come into the end of this race. Ooh. Foose and Green are really, really tight here. Yeah, they are. So are our, so are our one Cohort. and two. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What a Keeping finish. an eye on both of them here. Kurtz finishing in first. Kurtz taking Jeez. first, Hellman in second. Let's jump back quick. Looks like Tom Foose will hold on to third for the podium. Will Green what right behind him in fourth. Wow. DJ right now leading a pack as well with Fernandez, Gable, and Athwal right behind him. Any...
DJ able to hold on, pulling P10. With Fernandez Gable finishing 12th, Athwal in 13th. Once again, solid finish for DJ P2 in, in, in class. So it should uh, show a good result for his team as they currently hashtag, lead. Hashtag make DJ a pro. Hashtag get carried Anderson. Hey, took a <laughs> shot. Hey, oh, man. Oh, <laughs> my. oh. No, Ando actually had a great result as he slides up into P3 for class finish. Good race for him. There are your times today, ladies and gentlemen, for the second of two sprint races at Misano. Great race in daytime, nighttime. We mix it up. Looks absolutely fantastic. These guys that go out and do donuts and everything after the race, are they not realizing that they can still get disqualified? We've seen it no, before. They do not. We've seen it. Didn't we see it in the uh, Silverstone race? Somebody, no, I, I don't remember when I saw it. I just know at some point somebody, after they had crossed the finish line, decided to go a little too far backwards and ended up getting disqualified. Oh, I just hope that Jeez, doesn't that happen. Was... But Action Bryn Evans with a DT at the end. Finishing and his see, race. if you look at game chat, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. You know, everybody, it's kind of general. Good race, good race, good race, guys. Mega pace, yeah. blah, blah, blah. That was a fun battle. Good, great battle. I mean, that, that, that's lovely to see the, the reciprocation of enjoyment well, that's, here. And that's I mean? the thing. That's what we want, right? So, again, For I sure. know it's end of the race. I know we're just, uh, you know, inside baseball here. But that anybody watching who's not a part of Box 3, that's really what it's about. It's community first, sim racer second. So many of these leagues we see where these guys get so mad that someone hit them. And I, look, I've hit people. I feel bad about it. Um, I've been hit by people. I feel pissed off about it, right? That's the only one we get, so nobody else say the word pissed again. Okay? But the point Correct. being is, it's community first, so these guys congratulating each other, everything else. Obviously, there are incidents. We'll hash those incidents out on the Discord. Sorry, Blue. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Huff, to, to Huff and John. Thank you guys uh, for both for being here. You're both fantastic. For sure. John, it was a pleasure having you booth, man. Enjoy it. Yeah, Appreciate thanks it. for having me. Um, everybody, thanks for joining us for another race. Uh, I got to go take a look here because I'm an idiot. What's next week, Huff? Round. Yeah. Um, we have Nurburgring Ooh. next week, if I'm not mistaken. Nurburgring. Okay. That's what I want to look at. Format. Is it Brands really? or Nurburgring? Nurb right, next week. I have to look week. to refresh nope. myself. I it's Nurb. Is it Brands? Okay, it's Nurb. Okay. Oh, no, it is Brands. You're right. Standard race yeah, at Brands, Brands Hatch tomorrow. I apologize. Yep. And oh, then Nurb. And next Sunday. <laughs> so don't forget, folks, next Saturday, Xbox ACC coverage right here. The Xbox League will be kicking off next Saturday, same time, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. UTC. And on Sunday, one week from today, Brands Hatch standard race, 45 minutes at Brands Hatch. For our PC ACC drivers. Again, thank you to Huff. Thank you to John. I appreciate you both being here. You guys are awesome. Uh, my yes, name sir. is Adam. Thank you. And we'll be back next week, Saturday and Sunday. All the race coverage is right here. You guys have a great week. Take it easy, guys. Thank you. Yeah.